Yo, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create and add sound effects like this. Remember to like and subscribe if you guys want more content like this. Before we get into the tutorial, I have finally released my fully custom sound effects pack. This pack includes over 100 fully customized sound effects that I've made, including Fortnite guns, objects like launch pads and crash pads, and a whole lot of swooshes, bass, background noises, and a lot, lot more. All these sounds are used in my edits. You can get this pack link in down in the description or in the pinned comment in the video. The pack will only cost $5, and trust me, if you care about your sound effects, you will get it. It helps you so much and it is a great pack. Also, go join the Discord server for editing help and to join our community as a whole and have a great time. Now, let's finally get into the video. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is where I get all my sound effects for my edits and montages, and I have a lot of places I get them. One of my first places is going to be YouTube. Um, you could just go, just over the past like two years, I've just piled up like 100, like 300, 400, different sound effects just off of YouTube. You just type in what sound you need and most or most of the time you will get it. So YouTube is a great place um, if you need sound effects. Another big place I get them is actually Tur Club's sound effects pack. There's over like nine gigabytes of sound effects. There's thousands of thousands of sound effects you could get from his pack. So it, I think it's like $10. It's super worth it. And you get basically every game, you get ambient sounds, you get swooshes, um everything it's not they're not edited so they're just base sound effects but trust me it is worth it in the last place and probably my favorite place i got i get all my sound effects is actually epidemic sounds um this is actually it's a monthly subscription i don't know what the price is but it is a monthly subscription but it's, it's completely worth it this is where i get all my car sound effects my um forest sound effects every like ambient sound is this is where i get it and like if you want to like I'll just show you an example for like this picture um, that I used on my last edit. Um, you could kind of hear the picture. Let's just play real quick. So you heard that picture. I actually did get that from Epidemic Sounds. So it's a great place to actually find sound effects for like just different like non-game related or just it's a lot of ambient sounds and real life sounds. So it's a great place to get it. Now on to the second point is actually the main sound effects that you actually use in your edits. And the first thing is actually going to be your gun sound effects, like your um, AR, your sniper, your shotgun you're going to want to use um, like when you shoot a gun. That's like the main part. And then you have um, sounds like ambient sounds, you have swoosh sounds um, for like transitions or like a big impact you really need. That's where you put a swoosh. And my favorite sound effects of old time has to be like a theme like the theme sound effects so if um for example i had like a police siren um that i put just like that it's just it kind of adds like impact and adds like a theme story to your edit that you want to add and also what i added is kind of um like a person talking like a radio from um like an officer or something so it kind of like shows like a story and then it'll cut back onto like the bad person and then this will show like a um what i put here is kind of more of like a bad guy sounding like um they're talking to each other they're trying to like figure out what they want to do for their plan so i'll show you this right here so as you can see you could hear those guys talking in the background and that just kind of adds a big like story to it that you don't really see when you actually have the sound over like the song over it so this just kind of tells a story to the edit and that's what i it's honestly my favorite part of editing is that so now for my next point i'm going to be talking about is my workflow and kind of how i add all my sound effects and make it easier um for you guys just how it makes it easier so for my workload itself, this is kind of how it looks like. We just kind of start from the very bottom, and then as the edit progresses, we just kind of keep on going up. And as you can see, a lot of these um, actually like overlap from each other, and that's totally normal. You want to have a lot of sound effects as much as you can in your edits. Um, so as you can show that it just kind of ends right there, and that's kind of how I do it. And then also, you want to have sound effects folders so now for a cool little sound design that i actually do in my edits and montages is i actually add my own voice inside the montage i don't know if any of you actually noticed this but um when it's just kind of going along and i want to have like some like sort of talking part i will actually add my own voice in there and just kind of like add a lot of reverb and bass to it 
Um, so if you saw my last edit and you saw like um, this part right here where it shows me and then no, and I'm gonna show you that these are actually my own sounds. So that's kind of it. I kind of add just my own voice in there, try to make it more of like a story. It's telling you something and you kind of have that in the back of your mind when you are watching the montage. You can just kind of hear that and it just shows you how well made it is and how it kind of just flows all together. So let's go on to the next part. So now let's talk about how to add transition sound effects to your montages and edits. What you want to do is add um, swoosh sound effects to your transitions just like this. I keep them out and I'll show you kind of what it sounds like with just the transitions and nothing else. This is kind of what it sounds like. So as you can see, it just shows you, just it, it gives that big impact when an, like a new scene comes in. So we just kind of like slide over and then that transition goes and then it kind of goes into the clip and it'd be a massive swoosh there. And then it will show you how like we go up little one, little one, and then the shot comes in. It just shows you a big, like a more of an impact here, um, edits and montages. So you want to add transition swooshes, but please do not overdo them because some people can do that. And it just won't sound good if you add like a swoosh to every little thing. So just don't do that. So now what I'm going to do is actually show you how to create these sound effects. So we're just going to be using this little clip right here um, with the gun pulling out. We have the bullet kind of coming out. So I'm going to show you how to create that kind of sound effect. And then the shot itself and then the transition. So we're just going to show you how to actually create this little section right here so let's get right into that so what we first have is actually the pullout so we're just going to bring in the pullout three sound effects and let's just bring it to the top so it's not super messy and what we're going to want to first do i'm going to show you what it actually sounds like without any effects so right there that right here is actually going to sound a thousand times better in like three or four simple steps so what you're first going to want to do is time remap these sound effects so we're just going to do Control alt t on your keyboard and let's just bring the sound effect out as long as we can and really what, you, what i try to do is when i have the um when you have the sniper kind of pull out so i started like right here is right where the sniper will pull out and then we just have it until right before it shoots so it kind of goes like that whole entire way so let's just bring this out a little bit more so it starts off right here so it started off um with the sound effect right there and then it pulls out until the shot itself so let's just go right that looks perfect now let's see what this sounds like without any effects on it so already a thousand times better without even any effects. Just having that time remap is the biggest key to success. You want to time remap these sound effects. You could even reverse these sound effects and it will sound amazing. So now that we're done with time remap, we're going to want to add, um, let's just add the audio levels. Let's just do it to like a plus four should be perfect. And now let's add these effects. So what you're first going to want to do is just add this bass and tremble to your um, clip itself. And let's just go over down to here. And then what you're going to want to do is add around a 50 um, to base. And then tremble, you're going to want to do like a negative 100. And what I do, because this clip is like a higher pitch and you want like that low pitch, deep clip, is I actually just um, control D and then it just duplicates it. So it makes it sound much more of like a deeper bass um, when you actually pull out the, the clip itself. So this is what it sounds like. So as you can see, it just kind of has that nice deep bass to it. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is just add some reverb to your um, clip itself. And that should be perfect. It just kind of adds more of like that far away kind of tone. It feels like you're, you're watching something, not just it's happening. So that's what it sounds like. And that's kind of it. That's what I want to do for um, this sound effect itself. For the pullout, it's just going to add that. And now let's go into this um, cool bullet effect that I did. We're going to want to add this sound effect right here. It's going to be this bullet whoosh king. And I'll show you what it sounds like without any effects on it and just bare bones. So let's start it right where the bullet comes out. So right here should be perfect. And this is what it's going to sound like. So already sounds pretty good without even any effects on it. What we're going to want to do is let's just add, we want to add some of that bass too. So we're just going to add some bass tremble again on this clip. And we're just going to bring it up to like around like a 34, 37. And this will be around a negative 50 to like a negative 55-ish. So this will be what's going to sound like now. So it kind of gives like that nice little more of a bass to it. We're going to secondly add some reverb to the clip. And so it just kind of gives like that nice just... 
it gives such a nice effect to it. Love it. So lastly, what you're going to want to do is add some high low pass to your clip. So let's just add that. And we're going to want to add this to low pass. And now let's just um, bring this down to around like an, an 800 to a 900. You're going to want to add your DB level to like around like a 12. Let's do like a 15 on this. And now let's see what this sounds like. And that's going to be perfect. That's exactly what you have to do. So let's just bring in the heavy sniper shot itself. And we're just going to want to open this up. And we're just going to want to line it up exactly where the shot hits. So right here. And what you're going to want to do is do the same thing. Time remap this. You want to do it because you want to have more of that long um, just shot itself. So let's just bring this out. Honestly, let's do it. Let's do it pretty far. Let's, that, that should be perfect. Now we're just going to want to add the same thing. We're just going to do base tremble. And we're just going to want to go over here. Let's do 50 again. And let's do negative 100. And then you're going to want to add, um, you're going to add reverb to this. So let's add reverb and let's see what this sounds like. Um, we're going to just key, let's just key this out and see what this sounds like. So there we go. We're just going to add probably around like a, let's do a two or three to this. And there we go. Um, what you're going to want to do too, um, before this actually hits is what I always like to do is add some, like add a whoosh to it because you want to have it kind of build up and then hit at the right perfect moment. So let's just add this. We're going to want to go right before the shot hits. We're going to actually add, let's do that. And then we're going to go right before like the um, swoosh hits. And we're going to just cut it off there. Control D and then cut off. And we're going to add this. Let's do like a plus five on here. A plus four, plus five should be perfect. And we're just going to want to add bass and tremble to this. And we're going to want to do the same thing. 50, negative 100. And that should be perfect. Now let's just key out these two and see what they sound like. And there we go. You guys can mess with it a lot more too. You can add some cool ding sound effects to it, like kind of like a whistle sound before it actually hits. But now let's actually add in um, all of these keys and let's see what the final product looks like and sounds like. So there we go. We have all the sound effects and it sounds perfect. It sounds such like a crisp and nice sound. And what you guys also want to do is make sure these are not clipping. So just make sure they're not clipping. Um, you do not want that to happen or else it will not sound good. And it just has like a, such a bass sound to it. So that's kind of it on how to add and make sound effects, sound design for your montages and edits. I really hope you guys like this video. And remember, we have that uh, my fully custom sound effects pack. I spent so much time on it and I have some amazing sound effects on there. So um, just go check that out. Remember, link down below. And remember to go join that Discord if you haven't already. So I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace out.